Hello students, welcome to another class on economics. My name is Onoja Fita. In this very class, we will be considering the topic production possibility curve. And at the end of this lesson, students should be able to explain the concept of production possibility curve. Students should be able to explain the relationship between production possibility curve and opportunity cost. As a way of introduction, it is important to note that one basic problem which faces all economists is the problem of what to produce. In trying to determine what to produce, the society has to decide on the amount of resources to devote to the production of all possible commodities. The amount of resources devoted to their production would determine the quality of each that would be produced. Production possibility curve, otherwise known as production possibility frontier, is a graphical illustration of all possible combinations of two types of goods which a society can produce using its present level of resources and given the existing level of technology. Let us look at an example that would help drive home our point. Resources are always scarce. Every organization has limitation in one area or the other in their productive resources. So a company that is producing shirts and trousers also has her own limited resources. The company cannot go into producing large quantities of shares and trousers at the same time because of her limited resources. Assuming the company wishes to produce 200 units of trousers, it means the company will have to reduce the units of shares that will be produced. 200 and it, it is shown at point C on the graph then if the company on the other hand wishes to increase the production of sheds to let's say 300 units it cannot at the same time produce 200 units of trousers so since the company is increasing the quantity of sheds that will be produced the quantity of trousers that will be produced will have to be reduced to 100 units and that is shown on point A on the graph. Then we look at the relationship between production possibility curve and opportunity cost. We have already established that given the limited resources of every given organization, much quantities of different commodities cannot be produced at the same time. As more resources are allocated towards producing a particular commodity, the other commodity that will be produced will reduce because much of the resources have been channeled to the first commodity under consideration. With the aid of the diagram shown here, a movement from point B to point C shows that more resources have been allocated to the production of trousers than that allocated to the production of shirts. On the other hand, a movement from point B to A, it means that given the limited resources, more resources are allocated towards increasing the quantity of shares to be produced from point Y to point X and the quantity of trousers to be produced will reduce and the movement along the curve is from point M to point L. For example, a table water producing company has four machines, two for the production of sachet water and the other two for the production of bottled water. Her electricity can only power three of the machines at a time. If the company wishes to increase the production of bottled water, it means 
the company has to turn on two machines for bottling and one machine out of the two machines for the production of sachet water so the cost of increasing the quantity of bottled water produced is a second sachet water producing machine that was turned off in summary production possibility curve is a graphical illustration of all possible combinations of two types of goods which a society can produce using its present level of resources and given the existing level of technology. We have also learned that the production possibilities curve is also called the production possibilities frontier. Also, as the quantity of one commodity produced increases, the order decreases or reduces, giving the fixed or limited level of resources. Here is an assignment for you. What is the idea behind the concept of production possibility curve? Thank you for your time. See you in a subsequent lesson. Thank you.